Yeah, I welcome you all to uh, our Arboretum, the Stanger House, and the Celebration. A couple of decades ago, Dr. Uh, Vince Weber dedicated this property to the uh, uh, to the honor of his wife Jane. He wanted to preserve this resource you know, for current and future generations, along with many volunteers you know, who uh, work on the gardening, who work on maintenance. The uh, Jane Weber Evergreen Arboretum Board are fully committed to try to fulfill his dream of vision. It is not possible for me to stand here without being overcome with both a sense of history and nostalgia. History, of course, this, this building, this amazing Stanger House building, who celebrated, which celebrated its sesquicentennial four years ago, and all that it represents. This house's history is our history. Those of us who live here, or have been here, or had the pr privilege to represent it, this house is our history. As a matter of fact, I don't think, however, we should mention John Stanger without mentioning his Native American wife, Kiskistan. And there's an expression in Indian country, I raise my hands in respect. I raise my hands in respect to all of those who have lived here since time immemorial before European settlers arrived, including John Stanger's. Why? I'm overcome with nostalgia. I have a few memories that I would love to share with you about living in Jane Weber's unique creation. If you haven't been through the kitchen yet, look at that decoupaged article that showed her amazing creative decor all through the house. She was an extraordinary woman, as was Vince. But very, very meticulous. And I remember seeing her garden over here and she was she had a cushion for her knees. Her hair was done up and she had a velvet ribbon in her hair. She was always so meticulous. And when I moved in after the wedding, I remember her approaching me and saying, now Carolyn, there are two of you now in the house and if you don't change a thing, we won't up the rent. So <laughs> look at what the decor was like in all of her magnificence and uniqueness. 